The conversation continues with Gilbert Garcia of the San Antonio Express News and Sanford Nowlin, editor-in-chief of the San Antonio Current. And uh, San Antonio Congressman, the Democrat Joaquin Castro, brother of the presidential candidate, uh, is trending. And sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing. Gilbert, is it a good thing or a bad thing for him? Uh, maybe both. Uh, I mean, he, he's certainly uh, drawing a lot of fire. What, what happened is that, uh, I think this was, was it uh, Monday night? Monday, or night, Monday yeah. night, He tweeted a list, which I think it was a list compiled by an indivisible group, uh, 44 San Antonio uh, people in the business community who have given the maximum donation to Donald Trump. Uh, and uh, they included uh, the, you know, the owner of uh, Bill Miller's barbecue, uh, you had Bill Greehy of New Star. Sure, Kit Goldsberry, mm -hmm. the guy who started yeah. the, uh, the Phyllis Pearl. Browning. Nobody sure. on there, I thought, surprised me. Right. I mean, <laughs> for people in San Antonio, we kind of know where those individuals are politically, so I don't see how uh, Congressman Castro thinks that could damage them. Well, I think, yeah, I think his, his point, because he's, his, by, by posting this and saying that he was really disappointed that they were, in, in his mind, sort of uh, funding, uh, you know, uh, the ads from Donald Trump. We've, we've heard that there have been, I think, 2,000 Facebook ads in the last few months where you talk, referring to uh, migrants from, from Latin America as invaders and that sort of thing. So he felt this money is, is fueling that campaign. Uh, and w many people interpreted it as... Uh, him calling for uh, a boycott or some kind of threat. Uh, as his defenders have said, you know, this was public information. This is in campaign finance reports. He, he's describing it more as a lament for, uh, because he thinks these, these business people have, have benefited from, you know, a, 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 a customer base mm -hmm. that's, per, you know, mm -hmm. we were in a majority Latino city mm -hmm. and he feels that giving money to Donald Trump is kind of a betrayal in some way. Sanford, what do you think about a member of Congress uh, calling out and criticizing his own constituents? That's what struck me as being kind of strange. They're the people who pay his salary. Well, <laughs> well I, I, you know, I, I was a little surprised that uh, that he didn't come to somebody in the media and say, "Hey, I've got this why don't this information. This? <laughs> why don't why don't you guys take the flack for this?" Stuck his own neck out there, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, that yeah. that was my biggest surprise. I guess the big question is, uh, you know, he's catching flack for it right now, but is is this something that's going to have legs? Is this something that's going to dog him for a while? My suspicion is that that. The people who don't like him are the ones who are really upset about this. They're not going to vote for him anyway. And, and, and those who have supported him will continue to support him. There's a him. little bit of Chick-fil-A in this, too. It seems like there's a real uh, yeah. uh, let's tribally right. be behind the business that's, that's being criticized. And I think what's also happening is, you know, for about three days or so, Donald Trump was getting a lot of flack because people were saying that the screed written by the El Paso killer, mm -hmm. you know, seemed to echo some points that he's been making about what's happening to the country and about, uh, uh, about uh, uh, immigration, undocumented immigration. And so uh, by now suggesting that he's uh, putting, uh, that Castro is putting uh, th these business people's lives in danger, I mean, I don't think there's really, I mean, if, if that's true, I mean, any time a, a talk radio person criticizes an Express News reporter or something, I mean, are they putting our lives in danger? I don't really think they well, are. I mean, and we, we, you know, we, we, as you know, we, we talk about people's campaign contributions all the all time. time. We, the, yeah. These are public record. Yes, we, yes. When we write stories, we put this stuff out there, and I, and I think it's ridiculous to, to insinuate that, that we're putting people's lives in yes. jeopardy by, by, by pointing out. public information. Yeah. But yeah. by saying that, I think they're, they're suggesting, well, he's, he's, he's endangering people's lives and so kind of shifting the argument away from what Donald Trump uh, yeah, might be doing. Good. Gilbert Garcia, San Antonio Express News, Sanford Nowlin, Editor-in-Chief of the San Antonio Current. Thank you both for joining us for the conversation. Continue.